just on the surface of an unmachined plate. Alright, I'll give you a walk around. So what we got going on here, as I'm in V-blocks, this is where the bucket actually uh, clamps on, and I'm on the bucket clamping surface in a set of V-blocks. And then on this end, I've just got it setting on a single point down here because I'm basically trying to get a three-point contact. It's hitting here and here on that bar and then one spot in the middle because I want it to square off from this surface. Well, anyways, I think uh, the only thing I've got yet to do here now is pick up the outside of this and then we're ready to go to it. Hi everybody, sorry I haven't been getting a lot of this documented because I've been too busy figuring out how to set up and do it. It's the first time I've done this kind of a job on this machine, but we had lots of uh, failed attempts. Anyway, long and short of it is, she's all set up. I think I shot some video of boring this hole, but then I didn't shoot any video boring that one or that one. Um, so what I've got going on is I was boring this first hole using, I think it's on here. And here it is. So I was using this, um, not ideal. It's hard to get your you know, tool depth set right, but uh, it was the only thing I had. I, I've got some boring heads, like I got these, uh, I don't know, I think it's a Nerex or something, but I'm not really tooled up with that yet. So at any rate, I used the other one, that's how I got this first sideboard, and then what I've got is I machined up just an aluminum, I uh, guess you'd call it a bushing, that pops into that hole. Now this one ended up, you know, a thou or something bigger than that one, and it was just enough that this bushing was wanting to turn a little. That's why I got the C-clamp on it, to keep it from trying to spin in the hole. Anyway, so then that helps support the bar to reach the second one because then of course I've got one of my boring bars in here without board support bearing. So that's working pretty good. We're about to uh, make the last cut or two on that bore and I thought I'd shoot a little video of that. But Otherwise, I think uh, this is going to be a definite improvement once I get all the tooling and combination you know, nailed down. The real problem here was just constantly having to stop and horse around. I mean like examples would be like this uh, angle plate is one that was uh, in a building that collapsed in the middle of winter. It was totally crusty rusty and you can see I haven't cleaned the backside up at all but I had to stop 
spend half an hour cleaning the faces up on it before I could even use it and it was the size I needed and it's stuff like that has just made this project drag on longer than what I wanted it to but anyway so I'm going to set the camera up and uh, see if we can get the rest of this hole board out Show you what my setup here is. So I need to advance my tool. I've got another, uh, let me see here, it'd be 75, 80, I've got uh, 90 thousandths to go on this bore. I want to advance the tool 35 thousandths. I made this, all of the uh, tool measure, or uh, tool stick out measuring stuff that I've seen from Climax or anybody else is just not repeatable so I just built this clamp that holds the dial indicator and I come up against the back side of the tool zero it out and then I can reliably advance my tool My bore is cleaning up and I don't have any ugly voids in my weld down here at the surface. I see a couple little pock marks in there, but nothing we're going to worry about.
25,000 to go. So, let's pull my hand to the side.
knows that too. Sometimes you're always going the leading edge of your pool. Sometimes you let it kind of reverse, so it's going to shave a little bit more of your shirt behind that edge. audio on the camera but this machine is built 1949 and they do the craziest stunt on this so when I hit the stop button you probably hear it power brakes the way it does that is by dumping the motor into reverse I I don't know of a single modern machine that does that like they like brakes on them they might have variable frequency drive that power brakes but this one just pulls off has a set of relays that slaps into reverse and then it's got a rotation sensor on the motor, and it does that until the motor gets down below a certain speed, and then it cuts the power to it. But I can't even, I don't even want to know what my uh, meter on the wall out there is doing when it does that. It's got to be just a hellacious amount of amp drop. All right, that is much better. I think we can call this one wrap. Using these squeeze lock style bushings, or not bushings, bearing. That's one of the things I learned when I bought the Climax gears. I had never encountered those kind of bushings before, or bearings. Oh, I keep saying that. But anyways, probably because it's 5.30 in the morning, just in case anybody's been wondering. <clears throat> anyways. Yeah, I just had never happened to encounter them before, so when I was first, first build my own line boring setup, I was using the, uh, well, like this one. I had one on here, they're just normal pill block bearing. I don't know why I thought it was a good idea to grab one of those when I started this the other day, but I keep them around, but I sure don't know what for, because they ain't half as good as these squeeze lock style. This boring bar is the very first one that I ever made for the very first job I ever did. And I ordered a piece of uh, 4140 pre-hard to make it out of. And I've since found out that it's a terrible, terrible idea. Um, I'll never make another one out of that. It turns out it's really close to the same hardness as the bearings are close enough that if you get a chip in there and it drags a little, the two will gall against each other. Um, I built, I think it was a two inch bar is the one that taught me that lesson after this one. And that two inch bar, I did that with and it locked the bearing into that thing so bad I could not get it out. I had to cut the bar next to the bearing and bore the bar out. This seized it right up. It was so ugly. But, oh yeah, that's looking good. Maybe a little touch with a hone and be ready to roll. Make this one better. I'm just curious here how we're comparing. Yeah, see, this one needs a bit of honing. Which is a bummer, but we'll live with it. <clears throat> All right. Well, I think. We're basically ready to tear down this operation. <clears throat>